Greetings folks again and welcome back to Femboy Mathematics. I'm Tree, your Femboy, and today we're going to be talking about summation notation. Actually, today is going to be, or this episode is going to be quite short because summation notation doesn't really have much to it. So basically, a summation notation is basically an addition of numbers between two values. So let's, it's denoted by this Greek letter sigma and you have our two bounds our upper bound k and our lower bound n equals it's called j and we have our element which is um, probably n and is our element and it's basically gonna tell us what operation we're gonna do on every number that's gonna be added to each other but in this case since it's just n we're just going to be adding the numbers themselves. But if it's something like n squared, we're going to be squaring the numbers and then adding them. Now, this, there's another version of summation, and that is product, which is denoted by a big letter pi. And it's basically the same thing, but you're just multiplying them. And this one is crucial when coming to understand factorials, which I'll be discussing in the future, in a future episode. But today we're just going to be fo mostly focusing on summation notation, so the summation itself. Um, start off with an example. So let's um, start off with an example. Like what if we're given something like the summation from n equals 1 to 5 how would we evaluate of n? This summation over here? How would we evaluate we this summation over here? Basically, we have five, all numbers from 1 to 5, so and we one add them all. So that's basically 1 plus 2, plus 3, plus 4, plus 5. A little noteworthy thing to know is that this bottom one here, this lower bound, is actually called the index of the summation. So after we have all these numbers, we just add them all together. So 1 plus 2 is 3, 6, 10, 15. So summation from 1 to 5 of n is 15. Now what if we're given something like summation from n equals 2 to um, 5, same number, but this time it's 2n. So the coefficient there. So basically we multiply all numbers to 2, then add them together. So we, it's basically acting as a function wherein we input them, which I've so discussed functions in the last episodes. Times, I mean, so actually, we have 1, 2 times, two I mean, actually, our starting number is actually 2, so we start with 2, plus 2 times 3, plus 2 times 4, plus 2 times 5. So we simplify everything, 4, plus 6, plus 8, plus 10, that would make it 10, plus 18, that'll be 28. Please do tell me if I make a mistake so that I can correct it or put it in the description of video so that newcomers would know if I've made a mistake or not. So that's basically it. But what if we're given something like an exponent, an exponential element in the summation? So if we're given something like, say, summation from 1 to well, no, n equals 1 and to 6. And that would be n so squared. What we do? So basically, we do the same thing we do, except we square the terms and add them all together. So that's 1 squared plus 2 squared plus 3 squared plus 4 squared plus 5 squared plus 6 squared. And that would be 1 plus 4 plus 9 plus 16 plus 25 plus 36. And you can do the math in this one 5. Plus nine, plus um, sixteen, plus twenty-five, plus thirty-six. I'm just gonna use my calculator so it doesn't take too long. Five plus nine plus. Oh no, let's divide. Plus nine plus sixteen plus twenty-five plus thirty-six. That would be ninety-one. So that's our summation here. So a brief summary of it is that basically we have an element and an index and an upper bound. So basically we're adding all numbers between these two 
these two numbers and these two numbers are included do note that and basically this tells us this element tells us what we're going to do with each term if it's just n or a certain variable or a certain letter representing the terms of that summation then that's probably just you're just going to be adding them but if you're given something like for example infinity for example infinity but we're not really going to be solving this one to infinity 2n squared basically we multiply each term by 2 and then square it so that's basically it for summation notation and so i'll see you guys on the next video